individuals, all of which are named and tagged, confined to four small islands off the coast of New Zealand that have been cleared of predators. The introduction of predators such as cats, rats, ferrets, and stoats during British colonisation almost wiped out the kakapo. Conservation efforts began in the 1890s, but they were not very successful until the implementation of the Kakapo Recovery Program in 1995. Most kakapo are kept on two predator-free islands, codfish, Fenua Hau and Anka, where they are closely monitored, and Little Barrier, Hauturu Island is being trialled as a third home for the species. Description. The kakapo is a large, rotund parrot. Adults can measure from 58 to 64 centimeters in length, and weight can vary from 0.95 to 4 kilograms at maturity. Males are larger than females. 28 males were found to average 2 kilograms in one study, and 39 males were found to average 2.06 kilograms in another. In the same studies, 28 females were found to average 1.5 kg and 18 females were found to average 1.28 kg, respectively. Kakapo are the heaviest living species of parrot and on average weigh about 400 grams more than the largest flying parrot, the hyacinth macaw. The kakapo cannot fly, having relatively short wings for its size and lacking the keel on the sternum, breastbone, where the flight muscles of other birds attach. It uses its wings for balance and to break its fall when leaping from trees. Unlike many other land birds, the kakapo can accumulate large amounts of body fat. The upper parts of the kakapo have yellowish moss green feathers barred or mottled with black or dark brownish gray, blending well with native vegetation. Individuals may have strongly varying degrees of mottling and color tone and intensity. Museum specimens show that some birds had completely yellow coloring. The breast and flank are yellowish green streaked with yellow. The belly, undertail, neck, and face are predominantly yellowish streaked with pale green and weakly mottled with brownish gray. Because the feathers do not need the strength and stiffness required for flight, they are exceptionally soft, giving rise to the specific epithet habroptilus. The kakapo has a conspicuous facial disc of fine feathers resembling the face of an owl, thus, early European settlers called it the owl parrot. The beak is surrounded by delicate feathers which resemble vibrissae or whiskers, it is possible kakapo use these to sense the ground as they walk with its head lowered, but there is no evidence for this. The mandible is variable in color, mostly ivory, with the upper part often bluish gray. The eyes are dark brown. Kakapo feet are large, scaly, and, as in all parrots, zygodactyl, two toes face forward and two backward. The pronounced claws are particularly useful for climbing. The ends of the tail feathers often become worn from being continually dragged on the ground. Females are easily distinguished from males as they have a narrower and less domed head, narrower and proportionally longer beak, smaller sear and nostrils, more slender and pinkish gray legs and feet, and proportionally longer. overall brain size than those of diurnal parrots. Its retina shares some qualities with that of other nocturnal birds but also has some qualities typical of diurnal birds, lending to best function around twilight. 
These modifications allowed the Kakapo to have enhanced light sensitivity but with poor visual acuity. Internal Anatomy The skeleton of the Kakapo differs from other parrots in several features associated with flightlessness. Firstly, it has the smallest relative wing size of any parrot. Its wing feathers are shorter, more rounded, less asymmetrical, and have fewer distal barbules to lock the feathers together. The sternum is small and has a low, vestigial keel and a shortened spina externa. As in other flightless birds and some flighted parrots, the furcula is not fused but consists of a pair of clavicles lying in contact with each coracoid. As in other flightless birds, the angle between the coracoid and sternum is enlarged. The kakapo has a larger pelvis than other parrots. The proximal bones of the leg and wing are disproportionately long and the distal elements are disproportionately short. The pectoral musculature of the kakapo is also modified by flightlessness. The pectoralis and supracoracoideus muscles are greatly reduced. The propatagialis tendo longus has no distinct muscle belly. The sternocoracoideus is tenderness. There is an extensive cucularis capitis clavicularis muscle that is associated with the large crop. Feeding. The beak of the kakapo is adapted for grinding food finely. For this reason, the kakapo has a very small gizzard compared to other birds of their size. It is entirely herbivorous, eating native plants, seeds, fruits, pollen and even the sapwood of trees. A study in 1984 identified 25 plant species as kakapo food. It is particularly fond of the fruit of the rimu tree, and will feed on it exclusively during seasons when it is abundant. The kakapo strips out the nutritious parts of the plant out with its beak, leaving a ball of indigestible fiber. These little clumps of plant fibers are a distinctive sign of the presence of the bird. The kakapo is believed to employ bacteria in the foregut to ferment and help digest plant matter. Thanks for watching.